Welcome back to the channel, Review It TV viewers. If you're a repeat viewer, thanks for coming back to check out this next video. I also want to thank all the new viewers for coming out and checking us out today. We are finally getting to one of my favorite installations for accessories on the Maverick X3 Turbo. This is what we would call a budget friendly system. And uh, the reason so is because it doesn't cost $6,000. In fact, it's such a fragment of that that you would be blown away if I told you for right now, $2.99. And I don't know why I said it like that because I don't even own this system and my name's not on the front of these speakers. But anyway, so this is what we're gonna install today. It comes with four speakers and it comes with a wireless Bluetooth uh, control box. This box actually will wire into the middle of the center console of the unit and uh, it'll also go through RCA plugs, which I brought some extenders. So for those of you guys that uh, <clears throat> are planning on getting this right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, these are just simple RCA connections. This is an RCA connector extension. It's like 10 feet. So you can plug it in there and keep going because a lot of the times these little wires on these speakers are not gonna go all the way around your roll bars and under your seats and still make it to be able to connect into this guy when it's mounted into the center of your console or wherever you're gonna mount it, where your unit lets you power it, I should say, because this is gonna power into the center power, uh, con the little power port that's down in there, whatever the name of it is. But anyhow, I'm not an electrician, so that's where we're connecting it to. Uh, a few things I wanted to show you that we're gonna need to be able to install this. You always wanna have a good set of these. These are your little durable wire strippers. Doesn't matter what brand, Cheapos has uh, wire strippers, wire cutters, and wire crimpers all in one tool. You're going to need a Allen wrench because the screws on the top of these clamps that go on your roll bar require an Allen wrench. I would recommend stopping by your local Riley's or AutoZone and grabbing an extra 30 foot pack of this black ground wire as well as your power uh, wire. They're both 30 feet. Get you some male and female connectors, the ones that would actually connect to this switch. Now this is an option, guys. With this particular setup, you don't need to have <clears throat> uh, one of these uh, rocker switches. The reason being is because the rocker switch is just meant to turn it on and off and to make sure that the power is killed. But with this particular setup, if you go down to the little power port and use the accessory power uh, bolt on there, there's three bolts. You got your ground, your regular battery power, and then your accessory power. Uh, and connect this system, it turns off when you turn off your unit. So as soon as the dash and everything shuts down, it kills the power to this system anyway. So I don't know if you want to use a rocker switch to do that or not, that's, that's up to you. I'm probably not going to use one on this guy because with the way they set up the, the accessory switch in this, it's, it's just pretty straightforward, it cuts the power. And save slots inside there for some other toys that we might get here in the future. And don't forget a little bit of electrical tape um, your heat, your heat wraps, you know, they seal, but they don't seal 100%, so you're going to want to even go over it with a little bit of electrical tape. So what we're going to do is get ready to do the installation right now, and then uh, we'll get back to you. All right, everybody. So we're trying to get these speakers uh, mounted. we got to figure out where we want this. We were going to put one of these speakers here in the middle and then over there, but we decided we didn't want to because this actually comes right in the area of the headrest, so your head might be bumping up against it. Then we thought about out here, but it didn't look too well, so we're just going to mount two of them in the center and then two more inside the cab. If you want to hold that for me, this is my son, Little D. He's actually the infamous cameraman himself, so that's who's behind the scenes filming when we're doing these videos. Right, so, well, anyway, so anyways, that's, that's how it's going to go. And the reason I have to also do this on this particular <clears throat> roll cage is because the roof right here pulls over and there's a strap and that's going to need to be able to still strap right through the center to hold the roof on right so i'm a little bit happy that it's going to work out did i want the speakers that close not necessarily but it still gives me enough space to be able to look through my rear view mirror it's not going to sit there and hit people's heads and it's kind of out of the way of everywhere else for a spare tire rack or whatever that's going to go here too across so I think it looks good. What we're going to do is get the other speakers put in and then we'll come back to this and we'll show you how it's looking. Alright everyone, progress. As you can see we have the four speakers set up. We decided to put two in the center back here and then one here and one on that side. Just a tip, uh, these clamps, they've come with these little rubber boots 
or I should say like uh, rings that are going to be put on the inside of this clamp and that way the bar, the clamp will grip to the bar and it won't allow the speakers to swivel up back and forth as you're hitting bumps. They come in a little Ziploc so don't forget to put those on. I almost started doing them without those and then I had to put them back on. So we're going to start doing the wiring. We're not going to run the wire through um, the actual roll bar on this one because if these speakers give out or anything I don't want to have to go through hell to try to get everything taken apart. Plus the roof is peeled back right now so we could do this installation. So we're just going to take these wires and run them all the way back this way and then they're going to go down behind the seats. There's a panel right here so you can either put it behind your panel and have it and drill a hole and have it come out behind the seat or if you're not interested in drilling a hole then you can just run it down the side once you get it in here clean. I'm probably going to investigate it a little bit more because I actually see an opening down there that I might run it through instead. But anyways, that's what we want to do. So I would just start taking your zip ties like so. Make sure that this little square is on the inside so that way it doesn't show or leave a little uh, mark on your roof as you strap your roof down flat. And then you're just going to continue to run that guy around. And then the same with these speakers, they have their, we're going to run those cords down the same area. We're generally going to go behind the seats and meet up into this console area to the power harness. And that's where we're going to end up powering them. There's two different ports on here for the RCA. You got your uh, light because these light up with neon lights and then you have the music. But there's two separate ways. You have to uh, install a separate harness for the lighting and then the main harness for <clears throat> the music. So we'll show it to you as we unpack it so you can see what we're talking about in just a minute. Okay guys, so I've gotten some wires ran from this speaker and also from this one. I'm going to go ahead and pull this panel off and show you how the wires come right through the sides down in here so it's cleanly hidden. That way nobody sees it. So that way nobody sees it coming down this way. Um, and then you can go back behind the seats and get it wired to the main harness. So that way we can get this guy powered up. I just wanted to kind of show you that sometimes you're going to have to move a couple things. This one is just held on by two screws and then the wires go right back behind the seats so they're not all over the front where everyone can see it. Okay guys, time to get the seats out now that they're unbolted. The front seat was unbolted from the light bar video because we haven't driven this unit so we're just trying to keep everything easily accessible so we can get right in and finish doing the installs that we're doing to that electric port in the center console. So you can see the seats. There's two bolts, two that go, one that goes this way, one that goes that way. And then on the back you have two bolts that will come through the seat with those nuts that I showed you earlier in the video. So it's easy to get these out, it's just four bolts. The fifth bolt being the seat belt bolt, which is really easy to take off of the wrench too. So don't let it get deter you or confuse you, it's not that hard. See this one, oops, it's a little bit harder to get out. cut your seats or tear them. Okay, so let's take a look back here if you want to come around this way. So it looks kind of empty right there obviously. Here's the seat belt that bolts to the side of the seat and if you look here, here's your four brackets for your seat bolts. Bolt goes through there, bolt goes through there, then the two nuts go through the back part of the seat on these two sides. Here's your battery. So if you're wondering what your battery looks like or where it's at, here it is. It doesn't come with the panel. I've seen that in other people's videos and whatnot. So um, yeah, you won't have a panel to cover that. So hopefully, if, you know, if you're in the water or something, that's gonna be all right. This is just gonna pop off like so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these speaker wires since we ran them through, as you can see right here, by the seatbelt, we ran them under this panel and up. Once the roof goes back over, it'll hide all that and it'll look really nice and clean. We're going to run these RCAs to the main harness. If you look up front here in the center console, that's where we're going to connect our main harness for the radio. And then it'll come back, connect all to the speakers and the RCAs, and then you'll have your little Bluetooth control box. And that's how you'll uh, connect to it. So it's a pretty easy install. It's just taking out the seats and the panels off. It's a little bit tedious, but uh, we're going to go ahead and start running the rest of the wires. Um, it, it depends on your model of unit you have, but for the X3, 
everything's really easy. It's really hot right now, so um, excuse my attire. I didn't dress to impress, I dressed for comfort. It's like we're still in uh, August, or no, we just got in August and it's still hot. So the shop's hot right now, but yeah. We'll go ahead and get these things ran and then we'll give you an overall look of it. Then we'll get everything put back together and we'll turn it on and show you how it works. Okay guys, so this is the control box for the Bluetooth stereo system. We're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing of this guy. So, it's gonna come with a little bit of an instruction pamphlet, but if you're, got, if you have a general understanding um, of how to connect things, you shouldn't even need this guy because the harness is basically, let me show you here, has all the different connections. So you have a remote control and those are going to be uh, the RCA plugs that power the color, the LED lights that are on the speakers. So you got the ones that go to the speakers and then you got the other speaker wire which powers the LED lights and then your remote and that's going to go to the battery um, accessory port down here too so that way it'll automatically shut off regardless if we forget to when the unit shuts off by itself. So we'll put that one to the side. Let me just get this harness out and show you. A little clamp here. Comes with a little clamp. Comes with a little bit of screws for your clamp, but here's the harness. Let me take it apart so you guys can get a good look. This is how a harness looks. It just goes to your control box. You have basically a uh, play and rewind your volumes and your power button here. This will light up so you'll know if it's powered on. Then if you look here, this opens up and get it open. And you have a little uh, USB port and an auxiliary so you can connect into and I think charge your phone as well as control uh, the music if you don't want to do it to your Bluetooth. So you have these four red wires and these four red wires are going to go to each one of your speaker wires and uh, let's see if I can see them here. Oh, so here's a set right here that's already been ran of this speaker up here. So the red one will plug into one of these like that. And the yellow ones are gonna go to that harness I showed you that powers the LED lights that'll be on the speaker. So it has kind of two little harnesses. But so those go to the speakers. And then this is gonna go to your battery. It's gonna go to your ground and to your accessory power port on the block in the center of the console. And then it also has a fuse on it to protect it from getting blown out if for some reason it shorts out. This extra cable right here, you don't really have to pay attention to unless you're adding in uh, an external amplifier. If you wanna add an additional amp to power it even more, that's your remote wire. And then of course, that's your um, audio and stuff for your RCA for the amp. So power and audio. So we'll ignore that wire, but we're gonna go ahead and start putting this in and wiring it up and getting the speakers connected to it and uh, if you look up this way, come on up here. This is basically where this guy is going to go into place. We're going to have this come out somewhere, I think over here. We'll see if I can get in or out or how I'm going to run it outwards. But we're going to probably want this guy to be like here in the center somewhere. So we're going to have to mount it, I don't know, either there or maybe you can mount it. It, it has a little mounting. Um, bracket that goes onto it but here's where you're going to wire to so that's your accessory on the bottom and then that's your ground up top and then this is just your constant power in the middle so you can use that but it's real simple with these plug and plays basically here's your ground here's your power it goes on the two screws then you run your rcas from each one of your speakers and plug it into there you're also going to take that yellow harness i just showed you for the led lights and plug it on there too and connect it to the uh, rca yellow lights on there, the RCA uh, cable. And then uh, after that, you just tuck everything in and get it mounted where you want it. And then uh, basically when you turn on your um, dashboard, once you hit the key and turn on the button here, it'll power this and then you'll be able to turn on your LEDs um, with a remote control or the music. And uh, once you turn the unit off, if the unit power is off, this will power off, it won't stay on. So you, even if you don't power it off, it'll turn off by plugging it in this way. All right, guys, I wanted to show you the speaker wires. These are coming off of the speakers we mounted. We ran them across the roll bar and zip tied them. There's two of them coming off, one from the back and one from right here. So, like I said, this is going to be powering the LED on your speaker. This one will actually put the audio through. 
So I ordered these 10 foot extensions for the uh, audio side because as you can see this would have never even made it through the console and all the way down to the harness where we we're going to plug it in. So basically we just take it, stick it on like that. And what I would advise doing is using one of these heat shrinks, like a heat wrap, get one that's big enough to be able to go over whatever it is you're using. This one's a little bit tough, so I don't even know if that's big enough. Oof. But you'll want to find one of these heat shrinks and put it over this. Once you connect it, then you'll put that over and heat it up with your heat gun. That'll seal that up in case any water gets in your cab when you're going about your way. So once I add these to all the wires, then I'm going to wire it into that harness. Okay guys, so look, this is how it looks with the heat wraps once they shrink down from the heat gun. I got one left. I'm going to show you right before your eyes how they work if you've never used these. So always remember to slide these over your cables before you connect them because once you do that, you know, you're going to have to take them all apart and redo them again if you don't do it the first way, or the first time I should say. So let's check it out how this works. Just going to turn it like if you're roasting a hot dog and right before your eyes, look at it. It just shrinks really easy and fast. Doesn't take much too, you just want to give it a good little shrink and then bam, check it out. Pretty easy, huh? And that's what you'll do with all your connections. Don't do it at first if you have to order any extra extensions for your RCA cables. Like I'm going to order some extensions for the LED harness, for the LED that's in the speakers. Because um, I don't like the way they sit up so high, I want a little bit more slack so I can tuck them down more. But um, as far as this harness goes, we're going to just put that away and that'll be it with that. So. But when you're done getting them finally installed, and if you have all your extensions or whatever, and then, then come in and use your heat gun and just do this. This is going to ensure water doesn't get in and short everything out. If you do short it out, that's where you see these uh, UTVs and these razors and all these things that are on fire. It's because people don't take the time to put these heat wraps and heat shrinks um, over, the, over the tops of their connections, and then they short out, and then the unit burns. So it, it pays off to order. It's 10 bucks for a set. And it's a few, it's probably a little more time in your installation, but it'll, it's worth not burning your unit up. So, all right, well, we're going to put it all back together and then we'll show you a clean view of it and we'll try it out. Okay, guys, finished product. Finally, everything's been wired. You can see the speakers inside there are uh, mounted. There's one there. Oh, headlights in the way. Two in the back. Another one there gives it a clean look, an even look from front to back. We'll work our way around to the back. You can see the seats are back. Console's in. You can see that wire comes out nice and clean for the harness. I kind of put it on an angle and put it up inside the top right there where I can see it and the passenger can see it. It's kind of cool. So it mounts on a little bracket there. Back seat's in. You can see that the paneling's all back. Everything's nice and clean. Look at the outside of this unit. You can see everything's ran really clean. You don't see zip ties all over the place. You know, the whip lights are looking good. From the back side here, just the two little cables. And if we get a further back view, there it is there. So everything looks really clean and organized once again. And that's where the speakers sit from the sides. They don't hit or block anyone's head or view in the back. They're nice, the two of them right there, so the, the back passengers can hear everything really well. So why don't we go ahead and give this guy a little try here. Go ahead, bud. You can mess with the lights. We haven't even messed with the lights, so we haven't, we're not sure how they're going to turn on or, or How what. do I turn it on again? Just plug the key in, one of those keys into that little ball until it clicks in. Just push it hard. All right, now push the button once without doing anything else. Just real quick, push it in, let it go. There you go. All right, so you can see that there's clearly some uh, some lights going on on that bad boy, and then you heard that beep, so that was the connection instantly connecting to the phone. And we won't do this for too long so we don't get the copyright. See if you can change the lights. There you go. So you can change them all the same color, blue, black, green. And then let's just go ahead and put on some jams real quick. And we probably just got copyrighted, but hey, it happens. <laughs> there it is. We'll give you guys more detailed view next, next time we change it around. But there it is, so. 
If you guys are interested in this, I should say right off the bat, if you're interested in getting the lights, Amazon links will be in the description. If you want the speaker system, links will be in the description for Amazon. Buy them through the link, that'll help out the channel. We appreciate it. If you like these videos and you want to see more, subscribe. With that being said, review it TV. Deuces. I can